Hey gang, we're out here in Bon Aqua, Tennessee, just west of downtown Nashville, to meet the amazing Templeton Thompson. She is a singer, songwriter, horse person extraordinaire, and she's really fun to know. Guys, let's go have a, a look around and let's meet Templeton. I was gonna go to law school, and even though it was out of love, people telling me what I ought to do, not what I wanted to do. I always love to sing, and I'm a horse girl, so I've had all that in my life forever and ever and always. I read an article in some Music Row magazine that I found actually on campus or at a store near campus and talked about Trisha Yearwood working at MTM Records, I think is where she's working, and she was in an A&R, so I learned what A&R, the whole artist and repertoire meant, and um, I thought, well shoot, if that's how, you know, she wound up getting a record deal, maybe if I moved to Nashville and, and try to get some kind of an internship, um, you know, that's a foot in the door. If you spend two seconds with me, you know I'm a horse crazy cowgirl. So, yeah, to me it's all about the horses and all about the ride and, um, and writing songs. And, and it has been wild because, you know, when I got here, my first publisher was Tony Brown, who you know, produces Reba and George Strait, some of those folks that you might, you might know. <laughs> He's done quite well for himself. And he was very kind to me to take me on as a brand new songwriter and um, really nurtured me. And, that deal um, went away, and the next deal that came up, I was able to write for a wonderful man named Stuart Harris, and who has written all these big Travis Tritt songs. Well, I cowboyed up and climbed on back about a while I found a Nino. I was fearless, I was foolish, I was gonna be the one to settle him down. For me, what songwriting means is just telling my story and putting it out there, and that it's a pretty sweet gig. Now, when you're in a town like Nashville, my assumption is it's probably the same way in LA, it's probably the same way in New York. You know, when you have a publishing deal, they want you to write for the market that you're in. Um, I never did that really well. I always did better when I just wrote from here, um, what I know, and, um, and by doing that, that, that's when I started getting songs recorded by big artists like Reba. I grew up loving animals that's, I've always been around horses. Ever since I've been a T90, little bitty, um, when I was riding as a kid, I was always singing songs. I never thought about that very much, but I think my babies just give me freedom. I don't know, they're, they're, my, they're my soul place, you know, when I'm, when I'm with them, I'm, I'm whole. Um, Sam and I were in Sacramento, California. We were at a horse event called the Western States Horse Expo. I'm out there, sun's going down, these cowboys are running, they're hauling butt around the arena, warming their horses up, and the dust is flying, and I'm singing to uh, some of our pre-recorded tracks. That's what I'll do a lot of times. I'll just go out there on, on my own two feet and sing for a crowd. And I said, I'm having a great time tonight in Sacramento at the Western States Horse Expo, but I'm really missing my horses. And so one of the cowboys, his name is Ted Robinson, and he's one of the coolest cowboys on the planet for doing this, he walks over to me with his horse, Clyde. Beautiful horse. God knows how much Clyde is worth. <laughs> he says, hey, why don't you hop on my horse and sing? And I'm looking at him like, really? See, really? He's like, yeah, seriously. So he holds the handheld mic I've got because that's before I had my, my head worn and all these different things, the ears that I now use, you know, like like all them folks on American Idol um, when I'm out singing uh, to tracks. But he held the mic and I threw a leg over Clyde and thus began me singing from horseback. And then I thought, okay, now it's gonna be awesome. Clyde's amazing, he's a rock star. But I wanna perform with my own rock stars. When I'm seeing the world My baby girl is a rock star, um, just because she is, she was born a rock star, but she has been made now twice over into, um, she herself physically hasn't, but Briar has made two models of her. First they made a model um, of her that we could use in my Girls and Horses music video. They provided, I guess they made four, maybe four total, 
and I have one of those original ones um, and actually a very dear friend of mine recently said please don't take her anywhere she's very valuable for our model horse because there are only four in existence and then after that um, a couple of years ago around October our friends at Briar talked to us and said hey we have an idea do you have any Christmas songs I said you know nope never written any Christmas songs but want to and they said well, we have an idea to make another model of Jane do a limited edition um, they wound up making about 3,000 and they packaged her with our Christmas music, our Happy Ye Holidays Christmas music. And the funniest part about that to me is it says on the box, Templeton Thompson's Jane. I do believe it should say Jane's Templeton Thompson because she owns me. I just get to bask in her light. It's been a blast and it continues to be. It's, it's hard, it's up, it's down, it's the music business, but I'm grateful.